Evening all. The name's Sparks, Charlie Sparks. Licensed to titillate and humiliate. One look at me and the gentlemen are shaking and the ladies are stirred. <laughs> Sadly, my wife couldn't be here this evening. She had a bit of an accident. Sorry, 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 sorry. Do you want <coughs> more from Sam? How's that there, Keith? There. Yeah, that's good. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Evening all, the name's Sparks, Charlie Sparks, licensed to titillate and humiliate. One look at me and the gentleman is shaken and the lady stirred. <laughs> Sadly, my wife couldn't be here this evening. No, she's had a bit of an accident. I know, I know, sad. She's been doing some exercise to lose weight, Paul. Love. Went out jogging this morning. Stopped all of a sudden. Oh, a sharp pain under her left breast. Thought she had a heart attack. <laughs> Turns out she'd sprained her knee. Ooh, I'm feeling better now. Oh, yeah, I've just had the best dump of my life. <laughs> it actually managed to touch the water before breaking off. I think you'll agree that's pretty bloody impressive from the middle diving board. <laughs> Mind you, had a bad week. Yeah. Lost the wife's mother last night. What a game of cards that was. Actually, I went to the chemist. I said, have you got any sleeping tablets for the wife and mother? He said, why? I said, she keeps waking up. Man, my wife's no better. We've been learning to drive together. She can't pass a test. She's stupid. I said, name a sign you might read on the motorway. She said, pick your own strawberries, 400 yards. She rang me up. She said, I think I've flooded the carburetor. I said, you don't know that. So where's the car? She said, in the canal. Good evening, Mr. Sparks. What the bloody hell? Oh, sorry, Mr. Sparks, we just... Who the hell are you two? What are you bloody doing up here? Uh, we would appear to be room service, Mr. Sparks, and currently attempting to avert our eyes from your naked torso. Well, that's what you get for just barging in. Now, plug that eater in and plunk some ice in that glass of brandy, son. Uh, sorry, Mr. Sparks. Uh, actually, we're, we're, we're quite big fans of yours, as a matter of fact, uh, aren't we, Kempston? Uh, so it would appear, Mr. Sparks. Oh, I see. Well, of course. Always a pleasure to meet my fans. Been to many of my shows. Uh, not as many as, uh, as we would have liked, no. Mind you. I've not been as busy as I would have liked. The circuit's chucking out with your Joe Pasquales and your Eddie Lizards. Even John Cleese is playing the Shafford Civic. That's why I'm having to sit up here in the freezing bloody cold, stuffing envelopes with flyers. Uh, why, might I ask? To get dates, son. To get gigs. Well, surely you have a, a man or someone to do that for you, don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise Simon Bruddy Cowell was in the room. You must be referring to my personal manager and career architect, Mr Don Preston. Dump that station with me, then bugger off to play golf. I'll, I'll bugger that speech up. Can do that one again? Yeah. Just drop in for that, yeah? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise Simon Ruddy Cowell was in the room. You must be referring to my personal manager and career architect, Mr Don Preston. Dump that station with me, then bug it off to play golf. Almost as useful to me these days as an udder on a bull. Yeah, That's bitter. Are you quite all right, Mr Sparks? You need a slug of brandy, sir. I just need some. Recording that and laying that so, on. Do you want gags in there, do you? Uh, we don't need. No. Yeah, just gags in there. When you get to off the diving board, mm. we need two or three gags there, mm. and then just bring yourself in on that gag. Go yeah. to there, and then you can take those lines. Give yourself a, a gap between each one, mm. and then I'll do your stumbling off and closing the door. She had 36 double D's, she was. <laughs> oh, sorry. Go again. I used to go out with a Welsh girl who had 36 double D. <laughs> well, but, oh, I don't get that guy. Double D's, I've got it now. I used to go out with a Welsh girl who had 36 double D's. Stupidly long names in Welsh, don't they? <laughs> anyway, this bloke goes into a pub and says to the barman, a bottle of crumps and um, a half a chimney, please. Uh, the barman looks at him and says, you are, and the bloke says, a bottle of crumps and half a chimney, please. Sally says the barman, but don't you mean a... Uh, do we, you mean a ch half a chump, an half a, uh, half a beer, best beer, 
the man, no, the barman says, excuse, excuse me, I need to, I, I need to, I need to. Simon Ruddy Cowell was in the room. You must be referring to my personal manager and career architect, Mr. Don Preston. Dumped that station with me, then buggered off to play golf. Almost as useful to me these days as an udder on a bull. Oh, it's bitter. Uh, you, you're quite all right, Mr. Spark. Oh, I just need a slug of this brandy, son. I've licked that many stamps this last half hour, I've got a mouth like a snail's backside. Better. Anyway, time waits for no man. Gonna have to get my pants on now. The show must go on, as they say. Tired ever so for coming to see me, lads. Really appreciate it. Indeed, it's um it's been an education. Oh, and uh, afar ye bugger off. Get that lot to a post box, will you? Save me the need for exercise. <laughs> yes. uh, they're on their way, um Break a leg, Charlie. <laughs> 